So, first thing is, these two devices, neither of them would be possible without transistors. Old radios used giant vacuum tubes, they could not function as a small form that we use in cars today. Transistors, they power our phone, they make it small enough to fit in our pocket and connect to the internet. They're allowed to do all the amazing things we know today. Transistors are an integral part of modern electronics. Today we're going to discuss transistors and the design, how they're used as logic gates, and the basic function in modern electronics. So first we're going to talk about the design. Transistors are generally made up of three parts. We have the collective, which is an input where all the electricity is stored. We have a control, which is this base here, that is, operates like a light switch. A light switch operates by you having the on position that allows current to flow through, and it's off, current can't flow through. So when this is powered, current can flow from the collective, which is your input, to the emitter, which is the output part. That's the basic function as described by Shockley, the inventor of the transistor, in his patent, which is U.S. patent number 2569347, published in 1950. The uh, other function besides just operating as a simple switch is it can be used to increase the voltage from the input to the output. Because since this collector can store electricity and has pressure similar to water, when the switch is that goes like a fire hose, when the switch is on, it allows it to flow through faster and harder than it would be if it's just coming directly out of the energy. And that was described by Beattie, a research engineer, in how consistors work in 1995. And so, the, since the, the simplicity of transistors allow them to be used as logic gates. Logic is a set of operations, there's the AND operation, the OR operation, the exclusively OR operation, and the NO operation. The most simple operation is AND. Often these work by having Boolean inputs meaning true or false, a zero represents false, and a one represents true. AND works by if both are true, then it will output a signal. This is described by the definition which is where well, I was used in the technology, the technology journalist and teacher of computer science in her definition on logic data in 2015. So by linking these together, you can create basic arithmetic operations, how computers function. You link in more operations together and you can write 2 plus 2 and you can process it using the simple computer logic. And by linking transistors in certain ways, you can create the different logic gates. So the AND gate, since it has two inputs and one output, is just, can be thought as just one transistor, which was described by Walsh in the design of transistor board logic gates. He was a researcher at IBM and designer, and he published a paper called IBM Current Mode Transistor Logic Circuits, which was presented at a conference in 1958. And because it uses logic gates, they have an integral part to modern electronics. The processor is made up of millions upon millions of transistors. So the things that power your phone, the things that power our computers, the things that power this iPad, they all are made up of millions of transistors. And they can be made up of so much because we've been able to shrink down the size to only a few nanometers. We can fit upwards of 100 million in modern computers, which was written in an article by Cortland, technology, he, who is a technology journalist, and Intel now packs 100 million transistors into each square millimeter of the processors in 2017. Because of this computing power, we've been able to exponentially increase the speed and decrease the size of modern technology, of the economies. So in conclusion, transistors have a very simple design Basically, they operate as a simple light switch, but when linked together, they can create more complex functions and are generally used to create logic gates, the basic functioning of electronics. And they're used in the processes of modern electronics to power all of our devices today. And because of this, without them, all electronics would not be what they are today. Great job.